Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. So let's take a look at uh, what I talked about, what I said about XRP a couple of days ago in my last XRP video. And then we take a look at the updated TA for XRP to the upside. And uh, if this is starting to turn around, that could be a possible trade. Uh, I'm only giving you some ideas here, no financial advice. And then we would expect the wave three to move much higher. And we can then calculate the wave three as we know how low the wave two will go. So when we see the turnaround here, we can calculate the high of the wave three. We can already make some assumptions about it where the wave three should go. And that should be sort of in the region of 38.7 cents. Yeah. Okay, so price target was 38.7 cents for the next move to the upside in a possible breakout scenario. Um, as already indicated in the last few days and um, yeah, in the last few videos about XRP, that XRP is possible or, or possibly already working on its breakout to the upside that we have already seen the lows for XRP. It is still very early days in any kind of uptrend that might be forming here, but obviously the more evidence we see in the Elliott wave patterns, the more likely it gets. Let's see if we actually reach the 38.7 cent level as indicated a couple of days ago. Well, we reached 38 point. Well, we reached 38.7, didn't we? Pretty much uh, with the accuracy of 100%. Okay, perfect. So we reached a wave three, which is great because what this indicates now is that this here was a wave three. After the wave three, you would get into the wave four retracement. Now this gives me confidence now because it means that really, really with a high likelihood, we are working on a breakout here that we've seen a wave one, we've seen a wave two, we've seen a wave three. This now should be the wave four. And let's take a look at in which region we get here with this wave four. We can see that the wave four is possibly, possibly emerging here as a triangle. It's a bit too early to say that, but the wave four would normally as a minimum reached the 23.6% FIP level, which is here at 37 cents. Um, we already see a bullish engulfing candle as a reaction. Well, the hour is not closed yet, so this could still uh, go lower, but um, the minimum it needs to do in this wave four is the 23.6% FIP level. Ideal retracement for a wave four is here between the 38.2% FIP level and the 50% FIP level. So between 37 cents and 36 cents. This would be the, I, no, sorry, between um, 36 cents and 35.2 cents. So anywhere here, we would expect now the reversal to the upside in a wave five. What would you expect for a wave five or for the length of the wave five? Well, usually one possible target is the um, taking the length of the wave one, which was down here. Yeah. Oops. yeah let me delete these FIB levels. Uh, oh no, let me keep them for now. It is the length of the wave one yeah, projected onto the low of the wave four. So let's say the wave four will reach here the ideal level at 36 cents. Then the one to one ratio, what we expect for a wave five is 41.1 cents. So let's say, okay, we're going to go down now in a wave four here to maybe already finish, but possibly here 36 cents. Then the wave five should see here 41 cents. Bear in mind that then again, and I explained it in, in Bitcoin, Ethereum and uh, Solana videos as well, all of this move will then also be corrected. This is hopefully the FOMO cure for anybody who's already feeling FOMO, because if we really get to that 41 cent level, then you would expect a retracement. All of this in white, one, two, three, four, five would be a wave one again. And in a wave two, which would normally reach here the area between the 50% FIP level and the 88.7% FIP level, so between 34.9 cents and 30 cents, we would expect in a wave two to get into this price region again. Yeah, So that means that there will be another opportunity to buy lower with a high likelihood, never guaranteed, but with a high likelihood, all of this would be corrected down once more. And if you can see the lowest price level, that is likely for that move is 30 cents. That is quite a significant move down from now. And um, if we then in this move down make a higher low, that would really be a good confirmation that we are in a breakout, you know, because then you have a whole five wave move complete and an ABC to the downside here in a wave two complete. 
the wave two unfolds as an ABC pattern, so a three wave move. And if we see that, honestly, this will increase likelihood significantly that we are already in the breakout scenario and then a move out of this area will really be probably the best confirmation we get to be honest yeah so this is all getting very interesting and um, it was probably correct to start sketching out these breakout scenarios already a few days ago and to focus on these even though the downside potential is still very much there but that wave three move to the upside gives me quite a bit of confidence especially as it it you know it, it reached it with 100 percent accuracy and this is normally what you would expect in a wave three. Also, this wave three was very long. Yeah? And we're now coming down the wave four and the wave five. Let's see if we hit the wave five. Um, that would involve a move above this yellow line, which is the 50 day moving average, which is at 40.4 cents. So expect some resistance there. Also expect some resistance here basically at 37 and a half cents, which is the 88.7% FIP level of the entire uh, move of XRP. So this is an important resistance here at 37 and a half and then 40.4 cents that's the 50 day moving average but this is obviously coming down the longer it takes it's a dynamic resistance level so yeah this is currently what we can see um, on the xrp chart we are not out of the woods yet i have to tell you that as well very important resistance level on the way up as well but this might not be broken before the next larger move up so let's say we count this as a wave one then the wave two to the downside that next wave three yeah, that should take us above this 46 and a half cent level. And that will be significant resistance as well. That is very important structurally for the chart. So we can, I mean, we can sketch out for fun um, where that might take us actually here. So let's say we start down here, we go to the wave five high. We assume we might come down to 30 cents once more in wave two. Then the next wave three, the larger wave three should take us to 51 cents. So. That means if we get all of this five wave move that I just sketched out, get that corrected, then that next move up, that is one that you want to get into. Yeah, if you are bullish on XRP, that is one that you want to get into because this would be a bit of a rally. Yeah, um, and that would entail quite a significant upside move. So yeah, and this is my view about XRP. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Um, here you can get access to the Telegram live chat, the Discord server, a weekly live stream. Next live stream is on Sunday. Um, and also I'm currently testing a signals group, yeah, signals group for another three to four weeks uh, for free as part of the channel membership. This in the future will probably not be included. It's just a test at the moment, um, but it's short term signal. So if you become channel member now, you can get access to that as well for three to four more weeks. And um, yeah, so hopefully you like the update. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.